Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Yeah. And that's just boxing mate, that's just me telling you straight, he looked, he looked awful in his last fight. Otto Wallin, if that had been in Germany, that fight would have been stopped and Otto Wallin and now be saying he's the lineal champion of the world. Don't say that to Chris Hogden. Don't say that to Chris Hogden on Twitter. He'll start slagging you off, won't you, Chris? <laughs> they think that Fury one hands down. It's going to be harsh, isn't it? You think a draw was fair? Or you yeah, I do, yeah. I think a draw was fair. I think you could have given it Tyson by a point. I couldn't see Wilder by a point, so I thought a draw was fair and I got hammered. The most dislikes I've ever had on a video were on that one. Yeah. Now, when you think about it though, Cam, look at it like this. You've got, I can't explain it, you've got, uh, let me think I can explain that. Look, Tyson got dropped twice, fighting away from home, he was a challenger on the back foot in another country and he's got a style that's like a fumbling, fainting, it is an American on the back foot job, America, they like you to come forward and press. Yeah. So he knew that when he went into the fight. Now he knew when he got to that, to, uh, to judges at end of fight, he knew he might not go for him. If you look after every fight, he's holding his hands up, trying to kid on the judges. He did it against Vladimir, yeah. and he nearly pulled it off against Wilderberg. If you're getting dropped twice, away from home, as a challenger, fighting on the back foot with that horrible style in the fight in the champion's backyard who has now equaled Muhammad Ali's defence record an American as well if you think you can go pinch a world title like that you're in cuckoo land It's not going to look better, I mean he's saying he's going to go he's saying he's going to come forward in this fight and get more aggressive isn't he but Listen, mate. Leopards don't change the spots. Yeah. When have you ever seen Tyson knock anybody out? Who's his best knockout? Tyson's best knockout. Uh, oof, you're going back a long, a long time, aren't you? Really? <laughs> Yeah, but that wasn't a knockout, was it? No, retired corner. So retired in corner, accumulation of punches. You probably have to say Steve Cunningham, but he would Well, listen to this, right? I've heard a little whisper from somebody, right? That Wilder is just going to come out and he's going to go straight on him. He's going to jump on him because he's saying he don't want to be messed about and fumbled about for 12 rounds. He's just going to jump on him. And I think Tyson's heard this. And he's training as if that's what's going to happen. Yeah, you reckon he could go earlier? Yeah, I reckon he could, yeah. Either of them. I wonder what that man's got, got to say, right? He'll probably say he might go early. He might go later, he might go to points, what do you reckon? I don't know, that man's still waiting for his operation and it's to remove his head from back of Eduardo. <coughs> But yeah. what else do you want to talk about? Pay per view? I think we've covered a lot, haven't we? But pay per view, I mean, it seems like every fight now is on pay per view, doesn't it? Every, every half decent fight, I think. Yeah. It's a bit of a shame. But that's the way it's going. They're saying that they're going to do some at 25 quid, aren't they? They're going to do some at, what is it, 10 quid? Yeah. It just seems like every decent fight. 
tired now, it's pay per view, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, mate, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this thing with Callum Smith against Billy Joe Saunders, that'd be on pay per view as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would. That, that's the way it's that's the way it is now, isn't it? Boxing. I think that uh, I think that Callum Smith needs to step up and fight someone because wait, where's he going? If he don't fight John Ryder next or Canelo or, or Billy Joe, what is he doing? Just picking up a couple hundred grand here, there, and everywhere. Yeah, I don't think he should have. Jumped. I don't think he should have fought John Ryder the first time around. They should have either moved up or gone into a big fight. Yeah. He probably won't go the first time around. What if he's to fight John Ryder? Uh, but I just think he's. I think he's too big for that way anyway. I think he's too big for super middleweight. I mean, he's six foot three. He can't smell for that. Six four, and he's six three and a half, six four. He's big. It. He's second biggest super middle I've ever seen. <coughs> Thomas Augsfausen's biggest one I've ever seen. Well, I mean, it's crazy when you think that Callum Smith, John Ryder rematch are probably be on pay per view, but you go back for ten year or seven eight year, and Carl Frotch against Lucian Brutus, that one on pay per view, wasn't it? No. Um, so it's just crazy how it's changed, isn't it? The standard of pay per view has changed massively. Last. Six, seven years, Andre Ward so, against Carl Fox one pay per view. The first Mikhail Kessler fight weren't pay per view. Yeah. Well, this is how I look at it, mate. I, pay per view now, we need to be told what the criteria is because. You can't just get two people on YouTube who are popular and put them on by put them on Sky Sports and say that's pay per view. Yeah. You can't do that. It's it's wrong, mate. It's morally wrong. For so all them kids that are putting the timing in the gyms, what about them? Yeah. What about them? It's all wrong, mate. That's just my opinion, isn't it? I'm just a fat kid with a camera signing off. It's giving opinion. So all it is. Well, you're not doing too bad, are you? You're not doing too bad. Well, we're doing all, we're doing all right. We're paying, we're paying bills and keeping wolves away from the uh, door. I've just been watching some on internet. All you people out there who, who, who uh, get fed up a box and you need to take an interest in something else. Google the word Colin and then rape. Did you know that 19% of rapes committed last year in England were done by people called Colin? Google it. I was looking at that earlier on YouTube, and I was looking at nineteen uh, percent are committed by people called Colin. I was looking at that uh, what they call it, Sean Atwood's channel. Oh, on YouTube, yeah, I've seen a bit of his channel, yeah. Because there's an opportunity for me to go on his channel and be interviewed. And, uh, uh, yeah, I've been asked if I want to go on, and. Uh, uh, but I've got to send an email to this person to want it, but I don't know if that's me, you know. But the, the kid who's got in touch with me, he's alright, but I don't think I could be like some of them that have gone on there, because I watched some other day, and I thought to myself, some of them are going on there and they're just coming out with complete rubbish. Yeah. Well, Barry Earns in the black book, but nobody's coming out and speaking about it. I mean, IFL are supposed to report the news surrounding boxing. Now, Tommy Fury has had two fights as a pro, or is it three? And he's all over IFL because he's a boxer and he's been on Love Island. Now, Barry Earns a promoter and he's in Epstein's book. But nobody's saying a word, not IFL, Boxing Social, Behind the Gloves, not Sky, but yet Fox News are on about it. Yeah, it needs to come out and address it, doesn't it? Yeah, it needs to come out and address it. I mean, what, with Jimmy Savile in the book? 
Yeah, I think so, yeah. So they've got Barry Hearn. I've seen Barry Hearn's name because when he were read out on that American news station, he were he were right he were near bottom at list. Now there's other people and it Trump's come out and explained himself. So if anybody gives it air in the boxing community, you get hammered. Hatman strikes back and sporting icons are not mentioning it on your YouTube channels. Why aren't Sporting icons and Hatman strikes back, not mentioning the fact that Barry Hearn is in Jeffrey Epstein's book. Why are you not mentioning it? Why not? Why? He's a boxing promoter from the UK. Now, if Dennis Hobson were in that book, you would be on me like a rash you lot on YouTube, wouldn't you? Because it's Barry Hearn, you don't upset Eddie, dare you? So don't tell me that you're not employed by Eddie Hearn. Look, if they're not employed by Eddie Hearn, they get favours off him. Helmets, a lot of them, helmets. It's two-faced, but in media they call it, uh, what's the word they call it? Not bias, there's something else they call it, double standards. I am, I'm a massive Barry Hearn fan, but he's in Epstein's book, and nobody dare say a word. Nobody. Of course he would have could have been named in Jeffrey Epstein's book months ago and I invested a few million pounds with him. But what I want to know is if you're in his book, have you been on his aeroplane? And if you did, where did you go? Yeah, you now nobody's saying he has. But if people want to play silly beggars with me, Getting me on, get, uh, getting me kicked off Twitter and having matchroom fighters phoning Dennis up, telling them to get rid of me and all that. You want to play silly beggars with me? I'll play silly beggars with you. I'm not saying that Barry Hearn is a paedophile or a rapist or a sex offender. I'm not saying that. I'm saying Barry Hearn, Victoria Hervey, Lady Victoria who is related to oil family, they're named in Jeffrey Epstein's book. But nobody, none of them are coming out and explaining it. Prince Andrew came out and explained it. He was named in book. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, nobody, did, no, nobody wants to give it airtime, dare they? And I do, so if I end up with a bullet in the back of my head, well, you know where to look. <laughs> yeah, but well, I Another thing, right? Let me tell you this. You know Phil Taylor, yeah. the dark player. You know he's a convicted sex offender. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, Sky Sports don't mention that, do they? Yeah. Did you ever read the story about how Phil Taylor got done? No, I've heard, I've heard about that. They had that. They had her in that camper van, didn't they? Him and his mate, didn't they? And they drove off, didn't they? So, we all know what happened, don't we? See where I'm coming from now? There's photographs all over the internet of Phil Taylor and Barry Hearn. We're not saying that they've done anything wrong, but a photo can tell a thousand stories now. If you're going to knock about with people that have been to court and convicted of a sex offence, and then your name's mentioned in Jeffrey Epstein's book, what are we to believe? Exactly, it needs addressing. Needs addressing. But I pray to God that Barry Hearn had done that wrong for a simple reason. It'd take a bit of shine off all his achievements, in my opinion. Yeah. It would. But when you've got mates and you're promoting a sex offender like Phil Taylor, and let's have it right, Phil Ta Taylor 
is a convict, a sex offender. And when you are promoting people like that, you've got no morals, because he's a world champion and the best out there. You don't care, because he's racking up big wins and tournament victories and helping you promote darts. You don't care about, about what people think. These people yeah. don't care. Barry Ian probably just laughed when he come up about him being in Epstein's book. Probably thinks he's untouchable, but I've got my morals and I want an explanation or I'll just keep going on about it. I haven't even started yet anyway. I'm only just getting warmed up. Just the beginning. Hey? Eh? Just the beginning. Exactly, yeah. So that's just how I look at it. I have strong feelings about things like that and I want an explanation. And I think the longer it goes on, the worse it's going to get. Now all the people in the boxing industry know about it. But nobody's got any qualms about working with his son Eddie and Sky, have they? No. They'll all be at that show this weekend, won't they? All the managers, they're all there today because they all want to get paid. Now, if Barry Ern's done something wrong and it comes out, he's finished. They're finished then, they're finished. Yeah, they'll be out of boxing all this. They'll be out. Sky will drop them up, they'll be a public backlash. But if he's put millions of pounds into something with Epstein and made millions of pounds with him, people would say, oh, look at you, eh? making money with your nonce. So he can't win either way, but he's got to come out and explain himself. Yeah. And I think that part three of this video, I think that the title should be Barry Hearn, a photograph of him and some other low lives on it. Should we put a picture of Epstein and Jimmy Savile on front? I mean, what about a title like Barry Hearn, explain yourself? Yeah, something like that. Barry Hearn, come and explain yourself on Porky's Corner. Hi, Baz. But, listen, Barry Hearn, just jack the lad in it. He's probably thinking, oh my God, I've made about five million with Epstein, and it comes out that he's a seedy little pervert. You know what I mean? He's probably thinking, I'm just not going to give it air time, but you want to play the social media game, don't we? Well, this is the other side of it. Us. We want questions answered, Bazza. So come and answer them. Because if it were Frank Warren, named in Epstein's book, they would be all over Sky. Well, am I right in talking about sex offenders and stuff like that? Uh, am I right in saying that this Logan Paul, this YouTube boxer, uh, he's not about fighting a, a sex offender in his next fight. Who, that American footballer? Yeah, Antonio Brown, something like that, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, but Eddie Hearn's on that promoter, and he seems to have no problem with it, but I can't understand that myself. What, has the guy been convicted of a sex offence? I'm not sure where he's been convicted. It might be in question at the moment, but... If he's not being convicted, we can't really speak about it. But even the fact that the guy's on bail or awaiting something, it's a bit seedy, isn't it? That's what I mean, surely you won't go anywhere near it, would you? But he's been talking about making that fight, so... Listen, mate, these people, these people cry when somebody dies, God rest his soul, Patrick Day. They turn the waterworks on a week later, crying about it, and then... The follow after the weekend, they're making fights with PED cheese. So these people are actors, mate. I mean, you read some comments on IFL videos, and uh, people just think that sunshine's out of Eddie's arse, don't they? Yeah. Well, they do, yeah. Eddie Earn, right? Let me tell you this. They're obsessed by money, but he's good at his job, isn't he? He's grasped this social media thing. He gets it. But like I said, sooner or later, he'll be bailing out. When Joshua's finished, they'll be gone. They'll just have the sky dates, and they'll let that young Frank Smith run it, because he's pretty capable. He's, he's got a good boxing brain on him, Frank. They'll let them do it, and they'll do something else. But Eddie just loves the camera. He's never going to go away. So I don't know, but if Joshua goes, Where's his meal ticket? That's it, there's only got one big superstar left and that's Joshua. Uh, he hasn't got he's... anybody else. If he lost three matches against Jerry's then, he'd have probably got out of boxing, wouldn't he? 
look, they've got Dylan White, haven't they, right? But Dylan White's not fought for a European title, yeah? No. So if Dylan's not fought for a European title, but yeah, he's pay per view, I don't get that, I mean. He's not fought, he's not won a belt above British level, but it's pay per view. Yeah. But who's gonna tell Dylan White that? Who's gonna tell him? Because they're all they're all frightened to death of him, him aren't they? And his brother, nobody there sent out. They've got them all shaking. None of them have done a day in jail in their lives. Everybody's scared to death of them. This is how I look at it, right? Dylan White's got to fight somebody this year with a heartbeat. He's got to fight somebody sooner or later. I don't want to hear about. They don't want to fight him and this and that. He's got to fight somebody, Dylan White, sooner or later. Because it's becoming a bit embarrassing now, isn't it? Yeah, he's got to fight next though, yeah. I think he'll be unstable as this Josh Pula. I think he'll fight Pavekin. Yeah. Is that what Pavekin is? Yeah, I think he's 41-42, isn't it? Uh, I think that's who Dylan White will fight next. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's an easy fight for him, isn't it? Did you see the kids last fight against uh, Hunt? Hunter. Michael Hunter, yeah. Shocking. You got, you got buzz up in every round, Eddie Ernst come on here, Annie, today, and he said that Michael Hunter is the bogeyman of the division. No, he isn't. He's not a bogeyman. The bogeyman is Usek and Ortiz because they are southpaws. Right? They're the bogeymen. Alexander Usek. And Louis Ortiz. Louis Ortiz passed his best now. Usek isn't. I don't see Dylan White calling Usek out, do you? I don't see anybody calling Usek out. Exactly. Uh, and who's Usek fighting next? Derek Chisora, isn't it? Derek Chisora, exactly. Derek Chisora with nine losses. What do you think will happen to him? Derek Chisora is on his third pay-per-view next. Yeah. Is it third? How many has he had pay-per-views in? I think he's on three or four and eight. Derek Chisora against David Hill, that pay-per-view, they're on Box Nation, aren't they? Yeah, they're on Box Nation, I want to say. You can't really count that as a Sky pay-per-view. But Derek Chisora... Derek Chisora's uh, won a... Did Derek Chisora win a European title, so he's got a better record than Dylan? Yeah. He's got a better record than Dylan White, so... That's how I look at it. Dylan White's not even got... Uh, Dylan White's not even got a European title, has he? I don't even think he's got a Commonwealth, has he? Yeah, it's a business. Boxing's a business, right? And these people, they're going to keep racking money up and dragging it on and on and on and on and on. And it's just, it's a cesspit. It's an utter cesspit. That's what it is. And we're being light and non stop. And I'm hoping to change all that. Well, I'm trying my best. I don't think he'll ever fight for one, I think he'll get beat before opportunity comes. I think Dylan White thinks if I get beat in a pay-per-view, the Joshua fight's always there. That's what I think. You know what I've been on that's doing you in 10, 15 years time, but I'll be saying Dylan White, the best man to never fight for a world title over there. Yeah, is the, Errol, is the Errol Bomber Graham? No, Errol Bomber Graham fought for a title. He's the, what's the, Jamie Moore. Yeah. He's the Jamie Moore of the heavyweight division, the best man never to fight for a world title. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree. That's what, that's what they'll be saying in 10 years' time on Sky Sports, will Yeah. Yeah, that's what will be happening. Now, let's, let's hope that Dillian gets his finger out and starts fighting somebody because I don't want to see Povetkin against him. Povetkin's 42 next year. Yeah. What's Povetkin, 41 year old? Come on, hey? Yeah. It's unbelievable, yeah. hey? It's recycled garbage, yeah. Recycled rubbish, and I've had enough of it. I've had enough of it. 
and nobody is bringing it up. I mean, what are these YouTubers going to do at these press conferences? Are they going to say to Dylan White, Dylan, why are you fighting a man that's 42 next year? And why is this pay-per-view? Why? Why is this? Why are you going on about you have not had your WBC world title fight, blah de blah and using IFL and Sky to get your word across. It is total rubbish. It says it's rubbish. Yeah, well he's talking rubbish, isn't he? He can fight Dillian Wyatt as well. I mean, let's have it right. He can fight, but I think he's got a fitness problem myself. But if you put it on him, he always tires at end. Yeah, who sakes the bogeyman? Yeah. They'll vacate so they can keep the belts in house. Yeah. And then and then who's it off to fight someone like Joseph Parker? Joseph Parker, New Zealand TV against Russian TV, fighting in England, two fighters on pay-per-view, not born in England. Yeah, that's what it'll be. That's what it'll be, we know that don't we Cam? We do know that, we do. Yeah. So, I think that's about it mate, we've covered all bases haven't we? Yeah, we've covered quite a bit there haven't we really? What are your, what are your picks for a weekend? What are your picks for weekend? For weekend, I think Kel Brook. I mean, it's all Kel Brook turns up, doesn't it? But it should be stopping this guy, should it? Yeah. It should be stopping this kid, so I'll go Kel Brook by stoppage. And I think, I think Terry Harper, I think he'll be too much too soon for that. I think yeah. she'll get beat. Yeah, I think she'll get beat. What, against a woman, 14 in, pushing 40 year old? Yeah, I just think she's only had nine fights, Terry Harper, and she. She's already won a world title, mate. She's an IBO champion. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's grow this channel together because this is the Porky Movement. Is he off his head? Should have been, never been, baked bean. Thinks it's no lever, eh? What do you reckon?